Hey, hey guys, Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions LLC and BHSpringSolutions.com. We're back again for another session of High Power University as we're continuing our evaluation and analysis of the Springfield SA35 High Power. And um, today we have a new, new kind of a uh, reliability test. Where we've gotten to so far is we did go ahead and deburr the entire handgun uh, inside, outside, um, and that made incredible improvements in the cycling. All of a sudden it normalized and we start sending uh, empty shell casings, which is a uh, reflection of the slide velocity. Um, we start sending in the distance we would expect, just exactly what we would expect um, uh, with the ammunition that we were shooting. So um, we took a big leap in terms of function there. We just... Uh, the last test we did, we put 100 rounds through. This was also to, we wanted to assure some accuracy. Accuracy was, I mean, this, I was feeling it. This handgun's hooked up. Um, we've made a change for this test today. We have went from our 17 pound progressive recoil spring to our 18 pound progressive recoil spring. It's going to, going to be explaining why. Uh, our testing with that recoil spring has shown that um, that one spring seems to uh, uh, allow slide velocity for your standard pressure ammunition, that is all of these, as well as for your plus P ammunition, and that is the ones over here on this side. So what we're going to do today is we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to take 10 rounds of each of those eight. We're going to take 10 here, that'll be 90, and five of each of these. Um, and the main reason is because that stuff's like over a dollar a round. And I think we can uh, find out what we want to know. But what we're going to do is we're going to do something here. And at the same time going, don't try this at home. Uh, because this is not, you know, what anybody suggests is, you know, all you got to do things this way in order to get your best reliability. Um, we're mixing everything up on purpose. And... I want to see if this uh, Springfield SA-35, as we have it configured now, is this going to be a very reliable handgun. Last 100 rounds really, really were excellent. Um, we've put in the uh, recipe here so far 10 rounds of Federal 115 grain uh, full metal jacket. We've got here, this is blunt nose. Now this mimics your hollow point feeding. But this is a flat nose. This is Spear Lawman ammunition, 147 grain. This is not a plus P pressure. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to dump 10 of those on in. And then we've got Federal. We've got a 147 grain uh, Federal. That one box was almost empty, so we're going to go ahead and open up this one. This is 147 grain Federal, slightly different flat nose. This is even flatter uh, bullet profile. It's a 147 grain flat nose as well, so we're going to throw 10 of those into the mix. Then we've got Cellular and Bellet from the Czech Republic. Uh, U.S. U.S., U.S., this is Czech Republic. We'll season it up with 10 of those. And then we've got this I've never seen before. This is 115 grain uh, ball ammunition. This is says Norma. This is made in Hungary. Uh, no idea if that stuff's any good or not, but it's factory 115 grain ammunition. we got the familiar Winchester white box. We'll have to count this stuff out. Uh, this has some, been some of the more powerful uh, loaded ammunition we've tested lately. Two, four, six, eight, ten of those. And now we're going to go to Remington. They have a new box design these days, kind of the simple route, I think. Uh, let's see, we're going to have ten rounds of Remington, it looks like. There we go. And then we've got another U.S. made ammunition. This is called Ammo Incorporated. That is somewhere at uh, Arizona, I think. And we're going to go ahead and drop 
10 rounds of that in as well. All right, there's 80 rounds. And hopefully my partner, when he edits this, will be fast forwarding and not making everybody watch all of this. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up and just grab it and you're gonna see how it gets loaded here. Um, Okay, now we've got a couple more magazines out here. So we've got 30 rounds of capacity there. We've got 10, 20, 25 more rounds that we want to, uh, we want to put in. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have those five. Then we'll add uh, five. We're not going to mix them, though. Not on this time. On this one, I'm going to put five of the nine millimeter NATO, which is considered a plus P load. We're going to put those in the bottom and we'll set this magazine aside separately. So we'll be knowing when we get to the uh, higher powered NATO rounds. We got five there on top of the uh, standard pressure. And then last. We'll throw another five nine millimeter NATO in, and we're going to get a uh, federal 147 grain plus P HST. Uh, this is ammunition I really think a lot of. Two, three, four, five. We've got five of them. Then we've got Spear 124 grain. That's a plus P load as well. And we're going to go ahead and throw in uh, five of those. All right, there we go. Now we've got one, uh, one magazine left. We're going to just load these that way. And we'll just, they come out the way they go in, however that happens to be. And that will be our last magazine that we'll shoot. It'll be a magazine full of the plus P stuff. So we've got five standard pressure on the top of that one. And then we've got 15 over there. All right, so we've got our mixture done. We're going to go ahead and set our magazines over on our ready place. And friends and neighbors, it is cold out today in Indiana. Okay, we can see our eight foot mark still out on the patio. That's the log there laying the way. It's approximately eight feet away. And I think we are ready to go.
Okay, there's one magazine. So far, so good. So, 15 rounds through. Tell you what, I'm going to just stop here real quick. I want to take a quick look at what the accuracy is doing out of this thing. Because I've been really liking it lately. Yep, you can see I'm all over that black already. Uh, we're going to try to again eliminate that black circle again today. See if we can still do that. Okay. Chamber indicator says we are locked and loaded. Fifteen more. I see a a uh, blunt nose or flat nose there on the front end, on the top of the magazine. Perfect. Beautiful feeding. My fo folks, if you saw any of that footage about how we were having trouble getting slide cycling out of this, this is just a beautiful, beautiful thing to see and behold, I must admit. Okay, now, five more rounds of... <laughs> I got to take you out there and see this chart. I mean, this is more rich than yesterday. Do not think for a second that I am not feeling this handgun, that I am not enjoying this. Um, that right there was, let's see what, 75 rounds of all kinds that you saw what I loaded into this all kinds of different ammunition and uh, it's all mixed it was all mixed up in our uh, in our magazines now five more I wonder where I ought to shoot at this target um, five more standard pressure and five more 
Um, then we'll have five nine millimeter NATO, which is a plus P round. And then we've got 15 more plus P rounds. And I'm gonna be watching the extraction distance on this uh, a little closely. Now we're into the plus P stuff. Yep, a little bit more powerful. That's that's eight feet. Nine, uh, nine millimeter NATO controlled an eight feet extraction with this 18 pound progressive spring, just where we want it to be. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. We've got now 15 rounds of uh, plus P. And we got 9mm NATO Federal HST Spear, uh, uh, spear uh, plus P as well. So this is the last 15. Nicely controlled. take a look at this target out here one more time folks compared to how this handgun was functioning when we first got it and how it's functioning now is night and day and with that uh, a little exhibition of uh, all kinds of different ammunition and that little exhibition of taking out the center of a square or a circle um, we're going to cease our shooting um, uh, here very soon. Um, we have had some questions about compatibility of the BH Advanced Trigger Subassembly. We're going to be uh, installing one of those and uh, also doing a little bit more shooting, a little more testing with that. And I think once we've gone through that, if uh, everything is still functioning well and, and okay like we'd like it to, we're going to be... Um, getting this Springfield redressed uh, back through uh, the BH uh, refinish shop at our custom shop service department. And, um, and then after we've done that, we'll continue the shooting. But um, right now, you know, that's, I just threw everything in the ammo cabinet at this one. And, um, uh, you know, you saw what it just did, um, functioning everything just really really good so anyway here's the star of the show and uh becoming more of a star of the show all the time really liking it folks thanks a whole lot for watching i'm mark allen bh spring solutions llc and bh spring solutions.com for high power university and our special series about the springfield sa 35